Hello everybody, we are in Yotsuya and uh, I saw on Instagram recently that you could have afternoon tea at a literal palace and I didn't know that there were like European style palaces in Japan but apparently there are and it looks super awesome and I'm a kind of like intimidated, I don't know, there's lots of guards here and stuff There's like a gate, there's a big gate I don't know how we get inside. Yeah, we have to pay money to get in. So like, this is the real deal. I'm scared. If it, if this is the last video I ever make, it's because I was arrested. Okay, today's outfit is. Um, I kind of felt like Bridgerton character. So my dress is from Dear Doll. They're on Instagram and they're kind of like an online store. It's very Regency point. I really like it. And uh. What else? So I made these earrings. They have little tarot cards on them. I like them a whole bunch. And I also made this headdress. Not sure if you can see it. It's kind of like angel core thing. Then I made this bracelet. One of the charms already fell off. <laughs> Every day I really like my outfit today. I didn't actually wash my hair, so I decided to wear a wig. But I think it works kind of better with this style of headdress. For my outfit today is Pretty simple actually. This dress is from Ankrush. Uh, my headband is from AliExpress. Super, super cheap and expensive. My earrings, I don't know if you can see them. They're were very cute. Great. They were made by my friend Melissa for her new, like she has a handmade brand called Mary and Dawn. And she's making like earrings and also um, hair accessories too. My jewelry is all. We have such good jewelry. I love it. These are all Justin Davis, all of them. Yes. And what else am I wearing? Your bag. My bag is from Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Gucci. And my it's more than my rent. <laughs> I saved a lot for this one, so I love it. Um, it's my only Gucci you bag. You deserve it. And my shoes are from Hun Cinnamon. Um, they're really cute and fluffy, and they're actually really easy to walk in. So I really That's like good. That's important. Good job. Yeah. Give us a twirl. Give us a twirl. Yay! She's so cute. It doesn't look like we're in Japan. Honestly, incredible. This place is the real deal. They, like, we had to go through guards and we had to have our stuff scanned. And they confiscated my um, camera tripod, I guess, because, like, Disney, you're not allowed to have selfie sticks and stuff. So, and I, I can go reclaim it at the end, but oh my god. It was like it's a lot. pretty intense. It was like going through the airport. Yeah, we had to answer some questions <laughs> about where we're from and why we're why here. Are you here. And um, we had to buy a ticket to even get in the palace, but it's honestly beautiful. It's worth 300 yen. The cafe itself is pretty cute. I didn't know it was actually like a food truck. But the food was pretty good. I'm not sure how they make such delicious food in that little tiny truck. Okay, so this is what we have. Uh, we got the Palace Blend Tea, which comes in this really cute plastic teapot. I love it. And uh, these are little croissants, I think, with chicken in. And there's quiche, which is my favorite. Little dessert scones and uh, kiwi jelly, I guess, macaron, all the good stuff. It's very carb heavy, but we love our carbs. Looks good. Ask me what this building is for, Nicole. What goes on in this building? Is this where the emperor lives? It is not where the emperor lives. Um, this was built for one of the crown princes. Does it he was, live here? No, he doesn't. It was built in 1899, and it, construction took a few years, so it finished at the start in the 1900s. And it was mostly just his home from when he was a prince, and then I guess they since moved when he became emperor. Wait, he's the emperor now? No, 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 no. He no, he's dead. I guess one of his children is the emperor now, but um, 
after that they just use it as more like a showpiece kind of like the palace of versailles and it's for foreign dignitaries to come and have a look and maybe stay i mean we are foreign dign dignitaries so uh that's why we're here it's filling its uh business but it's very beautiful i wouldn't mind taking a look inside but it costs a little bit extra what should we eat first i don't know was this one mine this yes yes that one's yours um i guess we start with savory online it said it was roast beef this is... It doesn't look like roast beef. It could be roast beef. Oh, wait, what are you uh, doing? They gave us one plate. Yeah, we have one plate. But I guess we can use the plate. Are we supposed to take it down? Do we need oh, this first? Yeah, we'll eat this first and then we'll use that plate. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, <laughs> okay, well, um, we can share meal? this one plate. We've shared more than that before. Okay, cool. Okay, some information for you there. Mm -hmm. I've never been to a building like this in Japan because like the embassies are pretty Oh, like, the embassy fancy. Is... When I went, I guess, where did I go? When I renewed my passport, I had to go to, I guess it was the embassy, but it was also like scary. Like even from down the street, you had to go through a security point. We weren't even in the building. Oh, that's terrifying. Yeah. yeah. What are you doing here? Usually they're very well guarded. I've never been inside the embassy. I've only been outside. And... I went my first trip ever in Japan because I didn't know how to draw out money because I'm so stupid. British people don't have ATM machines. We don't? No, we have cash points and they're just in the wall or you go to the bank. And I didn't know what an ATM was. So I, I went and I was like, excuse me, how do I draw out money? And he was like, he was strange. He was like a Japanese guy with a very thick, like North London accent. And he was like, just go to ATM bro. And I'm like, what? Oh, an ATM is like they're in every station. I was like, oh, okay. It was really embarrassing, but it helped a lot. I don't know how I got when I went to England. I don't remember how I took out money. I don't remember there being an ATM. Here, you right? paid with American dollars. Dollars. Actually, no. When I worked in a cafe, I worked in a cafe for two years in England, and there was a guy who got real mad that we wouldn't accept dollars or American Express in like this small seaside town. Even in America, a lot of places don't take American Express. Like, we're not Starbucks. Today was actually real cheap. It was. For this whole set, it was 4,800 yen, which is 2,400 each, which is about the price of, like, a standard lunch. It was pretty good. I thought before, um, I was, what was it? Before yesterday, when I was looking on the website, I could have sworn it was 4,000 for each person. Yeah, I thought it was that too. Ah, oh, sorry, cash. <laughs> it, it's super windy today. Like, yeah. I thought it was 4000 for each person. I would I be was, okay with that still. I, I came here prepared to spend, like, oh, well, we're in, like, a palace. So, I guess it's a little expensive. And then I double-checked it again. Wait, you know, it's, like, 2000 something. It's cheap. I got asked recently why I have such a frivolous lifestyle and I'll tell you. First of all, my lifestyle is pretty cheap because I get a lot of free clothes from Instagram and I buy almost entirely secondhand things and I make my own accessories and stuff like that. And um, one moment, something is gonna blow over. And secondly, in my formative years, I didn't have a lot of money and I was never able to buy the things that I wanted to buy for myself so I think I'm kind of paying back to that kid that never ever got to do anything that they wanted or like when I used to go to places like I go to like a comic con and I couldn't buy anything so now if I go to an event I always try to buy myself a little something and I feel like it's just a way of paying back mm. to uh, myself when I was a kid when I didn't get to do anything fun. I don't even think your lifestyle is frivolous I think maybe like to people who only see photos that maybe like yours or, or mine too, like we only post pictures when we're out somewhere like eating something fancy like this yep. or doing something like nice looking because those are the things you want to take a picture of. But Instagram isn't real. Right, it isn't real. And besides that, like other people spend a lot of money on like electronics or traveling to fancy places or maybe they have like a car or something Drinking else. Drinking or tobacco. Right, like we don't have a car. <laughs> We don't have any like loans to pay. Mm -hmm. We don't go drinking. We don't like buy electronics really. We don't spend a lot of money on 
almost anything else. Like, it's just this. Yeah, I think that you should live your life how you want, as long as you're not bothering anyone else. And honestly, we both work pretty much full time. I'm obviously not going to post pictures of myself in my work clothes, because that's, like, super ugly. Right, same. <laughs> People often ask me about um, working in Japan. Oh, are you able to wear, like, really cute clothes to work? Of um, course not. I mean, my work actually said it's okay, I mean, within reason. But when you're running around with kids and you're teaching six lessons a day, you don't really want to wear anything cute. Mm. You want something that's comfortable. So, like... At my, not my job now, but before um, COVID happened, I was, when I was working at a hostel, um, doing like reception work or doing event planning, um, we could wear whatever we wanted, we could do our hair however we wanted, we could do whatever piercings you wanted, you, can, you had like free reign to do whatever you wanted to do. So in that job, depending on the day, if I had to help them with cleaning things, I didn't want to wear anything too nice because I didn't want Absolutely. it to get dirty, obviously. Um, but if I was just going to be sitting during reception most of the day, I used to dress not anything too fancy because also, like, and I try to save, like, nicer things for nice, like, fancy clothes. Like, I'm not going to wear a long um, ankle-length dress and big heels to work. There's nothing wrong with that, but it just... If I'm going to be working all day, I'd like to be a little bit more comfortable, but also I could wear more interesting things. But if you're working with um, like people or children, yeah. obviously you don't want to wear anything that would like hinder you from doing your job, and also it might get dirty. Yeah, I mean, kids will touch it, for sure. This kiwi jelly is great, by the way. <laughs> so maybe people who, if they have a job where they're just sitting at a computer and they can wear whatever they want, maybe they dress up a little more, or... I don't know, most jobs aren't particularly fun. Well, maybe they are fun jobs, but... Yeah, also, like, when I'm in work mode, I don't want to be, like, fun and cute. I, I don't know, that's just me. I know some people who are, like, lifestyle lolitas or, like, they only want to wear pastels and they will refuse to take them off. And I totally respect that because that's really important to their identity. But for me, being comfortable is also very important to me, so I don't mind dressing down on my work days. And I think when I dress up, um, I mean, maybe I don't dress up as heavy as other people, but I try to put, like, more effort into wearing, like, colored contacts or more accessories, and it's kind of tiring to wear all of those things for more than a few hours. And maybe Color con specifically makes my eyes feel right? tired. I get tired. <laughs> Mine, like, I have, a, I have, like, a vein in my eye, which is, like, a normal one, but when I wear contacts too long, it starts to, like, get red. And if your eyes get you. dry, it starts to get red. So I just start looking like crazy. My eyes get like someone. gunky. <laughs> so I don't want to um, really do that too much if I know that I'm going to be working and like I is. can't change clothes very quickly. Um, so yeah, at least like maybe it's again maybe other people who are more like that's part of their identity and it's really really important to them. Maybe they can do it, mm -hmm. but for me. I'd want to be a little bit more comfortable when it's there a it day is. where I have to be somewhere for like nine, ten hours. I agree. Well, I must say, sitting here, it's wonderful just watching people. There's a lot of other people here and they're all very attractive. Is that weird? Yeah, to say? no, everyone here is good looking. Everyone's dressed really well, everyone looks nice. There's a lot of like foreign people here. It's very interesting. And this long walk, it just so reminds me of Buckingham Palace. It's so cool. It's a bit hard to walk in my shoes on this co cobblestone though. You're you're not faring so well yourself there, are you? 99% um, walk. Yes. <laughs> Stop lowering the tone. We're supposed to be foreign dignitaries. Have some I dignity. Have a dignified dignitary. He gave me back my tripod. Yay! The guy gave it to me and I was embarrassed because it kind of looks like a dildo. 